Hi there, and uh, you're one of my students uh, in the English language program over at California State University, and uh, I am Michael. I am also the founder, owner, and the materials writer for OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and you submitted a TOEFL writing practice test yesterday. You're in my academic writing class. I wanted to get a general idea of what your writing skills are so I kind of know what I'm dealing with and it can help me when I'm planning and teaching the course uh, during this semester. Okay, so with your essay, uh, the question here is if you could choose any place to visit in the world, which location would you want to visit? Use reasons and examples to support your choice. Uh, based on what you wrote, your score here is 2.0 out of 5. Uh, I'm going to put you at maybe 14 points out of 30. So simply put, you're not developing your ideas enough and you need a much clearer organization to your ideas. So you need two things here. So if you, if you look at the uh, IBT rubrics here, I gave you the score because of limited development in response to the topic and task, inadequate organization or connection of ideas, inappropriate or insufficient exemplifications, explanations or details to support or illustrate generalizations in response to the task. So you got to get more organized. You need to develop ideas more. These are the two big ones. And if you do those two things, your writing is going to skyrocket. It's going to get much, much better. Okay, so what am I talking about, right? So let, let's take a look at the essay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change each paragraph so you can see the difference between what you wrote and then what I wrote. In your introduction, you just, you don't have a thesis. The thesis is kind of like the glasses, the eyes of your essay. And you don't really have a specific direction here. You say, if I could visit any foreign country, I'd like to choose France. Because the scenery is so beautiful, especially the Eiffel Tower in Paris, which is called the City of Romance. And these are all sentence structure errors, but that's not the biggest problem here. Because the Eiffel Tower, under the Eiffel Tower, I'd like to take any sets of paints and several canvases and try to capture some of the scenes there, even witness the happiness of couples. But then you kind of add to that, almost as if this is a body paragraph, but this is not. This is an introductory paragraph. So you can't just add to what you've already said. You have to develop and expand on what you've already said. So what I did with your introduction is I expanded it to about 100 words and I said even though most people in the world cannot travel to other countries because of the expense, if they had the chance they would certainly travel somewhere they've not been to before. Traveling rejuvenates the mind and relieves stresses and relieves stress that people feel from their hectic lives. Like others, I certainly like to travel if the opportunity avails itself, and if I could choose any country in the world to visit, I would choose France so I could visit its rural areas. In addition, I would be able to visit my high school classmate whom I haven't seen in a few years. So this is the actual thesis. So now each of these body paragraphs have to restate those two points. That's what we want to figure out now how to do that. So now we actually have a thesis here, right? So I'd like to choose France so I can visit its rural areas. In addition, I would be able to visit my high school classmate whom I haven't seen in a few years, right? So you said, also, I think I'd enjoy the lifestyle of France. In France, you don't have to busy. You want to say you don't have to be busy with your work during the weekdays. It's so different from the busy pace of my country. Of course, France's big cities are just as hectic as any big city anywhere, but many of the French live in smaller towns or on farms and rural areas. Visiting these places can make you, you want to say me, make me feel relaxed. People don't feel the need to obey the schedule. Things get done, but in a much more relaxed fashion. In my country, there's a feeling that you're always late for something. Even stay up late to finish your tasks. 
On the contrary, in France, it feels like you're never late because no one stays on schedule. So the problem here is, um, I think that you need to be a little more focused in this paragraph and you need a topic sentence that connects back to your thesis. So here's what I said. First of all, visiting France will give me a chance to visit its rural area. So you see what I did here? Is I'm taking this idea and it's kind of repeating what we're saying here. So to illustrate, there's a small town south of Paris called Versailles with a population of about 395 people. This town has some of the most famous vineyards in the entire world. So if I go there, I will get a chance to see how the locals make wine out of their grapes. One fun tradition I have heard of is that this rural community has a celebration annually in which all the people in the town gather together in the main square in which they display several large containers filled with grapes. Once the music starts, dozens of people get inside these giant containers and begin dancing while they are crushing the grapes with their feet. The more they dance, the more grapes they crush, and the more fun they have. I would love to be part of this festival for a few days. So what I did is I tried to be more specific within that paragraph so you have kind of more depth and progression of thought. So in your, your next paragraph, uh, this is where you really kind of fell off the cliff. You just didn't simply develop this idea. You talk about this friend, you don't even give his name, and you don't even tell us who he is and why he's your friend. So we have to understand who this person is, and this helps us understand why you would want to visit France to see this person. So you said, what's more, it would be interesting for me to meet friend who is my high school classmate. They live in Paris. I haven't seen him. Notice how you say they, which is friend, which is singular, then him, which is singular again. So be careful of your pronoun shifts. Uh, I miss him very much. I promised him that I would visit him one day. This is the main reason why I want to go to France. So here's what I said. And I just had to make this up because I don't have the information in your brain. But the point is, you need to develop this paragraph to at least 100 words. And I developed it, it looks like, to 150. Second of all, visiting France would give me the chance to visit my friend John, who was my high school classmate. John and I went to the same classes for three years during high school. In addition, almost every day after school, John and I used to play basketball together at the local park in our city. He used to challenge me to one-on-one -on -one basketball competitions, which I would gladly accept. Since our athletic skills were similar, sometimes he would beat me when we competed. On other occasions, I would beat him when we played. No matter who won, we always had fun playing against each other. I heard that John and his family moved to Paris, France a while back, so if I went to France, I would be able to challenge my good friend to another game of basketball while we got caught up with the current affairs of our lives. So that's what I would say there. So I took your idea, and first, I kind of established who he is. We needed to know who he is and why he's important to you. Once we said that, then we talked about why you would or you would go visit him when you were in France. So your conclusion, traveling in France would be an interesting vacation which is different from my own country. So if I have free time in the future, I wish I could visit there. But you don't really tie it back to your points in your body paragraphs, but you really didn't have a good organization in the body paragraphs, so there's really nothing to tie it back to, but look at what I did says, traveling in France would be an interesting vacation which is different from my own country. Therefore, if I have free time in the future, I wish I could visit this beautiful European country. How about this? I'm using these three words instead of this. Words like there, it, these can be very weak words because they don't really do much description. But I wish I could visit this beautiful European country so that I could see its rural areas and we covered this in the second paragraph, and I could visit my friend from high school, and we just got through covering that. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, I think that you wrote 271 words, right? 
So let's compare it. So I made some changes and let's see what we have and then we're going to read the whole thing once we get rid of all your body paragraphs. Remember, you only have two main things right now. I think if you improve your organization, I think that's going to have a dramatic impact on your writing. Uh, you also need to do a better job developing your topics. You also have quite a few sentence structure errors, but let's just work on certain things at a, one thing at a time. The first thing is I want to help you to get more organized and to get where you can develop your ideas within each body paragraph. And once you're pretty good with that, then we'll focus on some of the grammar areas. So what I wrote, it ends up being 460. 464 words so basically I doubled almost double the length of your essay and I kept exactly the same number of paragraphs but I was simply much more specific in each paragraph okay let's take a look at it one more time even though most people in the world cannot travel to other countries because of the expense if they had the chance they would certainly travel somewhere they have not been before Traveling rejuvenates the mind and relieves stress that people feel from their hectic lives. Like others, I certainly like to travel with the opportunity avails itself, and if I could choose any country in the world to visit, I would choose France so I could visit its rural areas. In addition, I would be able to visit my high school classmate whom I haven't seen in a few years. First of all, visiting France would give me the chance to visit its rural areas. To illustrate, there is a small town south of Paris called Versailles with a population of only 395 people. This town has some of the most famous vineyards in the entire world. So if I go there, I will get a chance to see how the locals make wine out of their grapes. One fun tradition I've heard of is that this rural community has a celebration annually in which all the people in the town gather together in the main square in which they display several large containers filled with grapes. Uh, once the music starts, Okay, let me put Yeah, where is it? Oh, here it is right here. Sorry. Once the music starts, dozens of people get inside these giant containers and begin dancing while they're crushing the grapes with their feet. The more they dance, the more grapes they crush and the more fun they have. I would love to be part of this festival for a few days. Second of all, visiting France would give me the chance to see my friend John, who was my high school classmate. John and I went to the same classes for three years during high school. In addition, almost every day after class, John and I used to play basketball together at the local park in our city. He used to challenge me to one-on-one -on -one basketball competitions, which I would gladly accept. Since our athletic skills were similar, sometimes he would beat me when we competed. On other occasions, I would beat him when we played. No matter who won, we always had fun playing against each other. I heard John and his family, I heard that John and his family moved to Paris, France a while back, so if I went to France, I would be able to challenge my good friend to another game of basketball while we got caught up with the current affairs of our lives. Traveling how about traveling to France would be an interesting vacation which is different from my own country. Therefore, if I have free time in the future, I wish I could visit this beautiful European country so I could see its rural areas and I could visit my friend from high school. All right. Thank you for doing the assignment. Now compare. Look at what you did. Look at some of the changes that I did. Then ask yourself, as you're doing your writing projects, in my course, right? Make sure that you have a good thesis, you have clearly marked topic sentences, and make sure you have clearly supporting detail for each of your body paragraphs. And within those paragraphs, try to be very precise and very specific with the examples you give. So those are things that can help you to strengthen your writing.